Hey guys, welcome back. Now in this part of the video, we are trying, we will uh, bring up the Kafka brokers um, or the Kafka server. See here, we are kind of interchanging the words Kafka broker and Kafka server. Well, it's, it's one and the same. Now, how is that, right? Here is the thing. Now, we will go back to the Windows machine. Again, there are two versions of it. Remember one in Windows, other one is Linux. So we'll start with Windows. Here you have installed the, <coughs> you have copy pasted or downloaded it, the, the, the three types of Kafka module. Now, and this is entire project is hosted or kept it in Windows machine. Now, if you start something in this particular folder, that itself becomes like a kind of a mini server to you. And hence, it's like you can say a Kafka server or a Kafka broker. I know this is not a great answer, but something similar to that. For our entire activities, <coughs> we will, as I said before, we will be interchangeably using all these three folders now and then. Sometimes we might be work with Apache Kafka or we might even go to Confluent. Yeah, it's up, it's up to the specific needs and requirements of our understand, uh, of our uh, learning. Now we'll start with the Confluent one, the community, the Confluent community. Um, just let me say community, the, I think that we would remember it, okay. Uh, confluent hyphen community let's navigate within the bin folder and whatever you're seeing here this all are shell script and this will be used in Unix or Linux and that's where our uh, WSL will will be using in WSL if you're in WSL Linux this is your place if you're in Windows that's the reason they've given another folder called Windows and that's where you navigate within this and then start our journey, Windows. Now I will use the command prompt, <coughs> which will point to me, point to this. Before starting the Kafka, right? Before starting the Kafka, you need to start one more thing called as a zookeeper. Now, first time you're hearing a new terminology called zookeeper, right? So let's do one thing. Let me bring up this draw.io. What we are going to do, we are actually going to learn few things okay just let me save this to kafka diagrams and this is where i'm going to say kafka okay i just want to save this okay here in the first page i'm going to make it as learning learning or topics to be covered topics to be covered first we need to understand what is kafka as a what is kafka broker or you can just say kafka itself kafka or the broker but before that <coughs> you need to understand what is a producer and then you need to understand what is a consumer yeah once that's done you now we spoke one more thing called as a zookeeper yeah a new thing called a zookeeper then you have <coughs> Uh, topics topics partitions partitions replication replications replication and then you have leaders and followers um, leaders and followers <coughs> uh, what else do you have there are quite a lot of topics that we need to obviously cover so zookeeper um, then yeah one more thing obviously this is important clusters Um, yeah, consumer just below with this guy, you have consumer group, consumer group. Okay, just let me get this guy over here. Okay, consumer, consumer group. And uh, since I'm talking about zoo keeper, okay, so let me just let us and follow us. I'll write something like this. Okay, zoo keeper, then I don't need to talk about craft. 
um, if I'm talking about topics partitions application, I need to even deal with another concept called as offset. Right. So why I brought this diagram is because so many concepts have to be understood if you're working in Kafka, right? So leaders and followers. I don't know why leaders and followers have written like this, but that's okay. So these are the <coughs> units you need to deal with. And each one of them we will cover as we progress further. Now we will go to this Windows machine. And here we need to start the zookeeper first. Zookeeper, this is the first thing that we are going to start. Now what is zookeeper? We will revisit on this theoretical part later. So you'll use the command zookeeper server dot start dot bat, which is nothing but you should have this guy. See? Yeah. Right. And then for each of this, you need to supply the configurations. And if you guys remember, I think we, we, we have seen this somewhere. Remember this in the confident community, etc Kafka. See this again, confident community, etc Kafka. Here you need to supply the zookeeper dot properties. You need to supply this. Okay. So copy this path, control C, paste it, slash zookeeper dot properties. That's the first step. Enter. Now you'll get this command, uh, sorry, this issue. Class path is empty. Please build the project first. Example running cradle oh, dot jar char all. Now for this, I'm not going to talk much about it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and paste as it is. And there are tons and tons of uh, solution for the same issue. I think I'll, I'll go with the stack overflow, whatever this link is. And here I should find some solution which talks about this. Let's see if I have some solution here. Mm, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is the, this is the right one. If you can see this, they are saying that navigate to this windows folder or oh, edit this file and add this. Yeah. Add this and where to add just about this particular statement, right? So first of all, let's open this Kafka run class dot bat. So, um, where are you here in the bin directory Kafka run dot class dot bad. You should be here somewhere. Come on. You must be joking. Kafka, Kafka run. Let's see. Um, yeah, here you are. Right click edit with notepad plus plus. And then let's go back to this guy and search for rem class addition for core. Okay. Control C, Control F, paste it. You got it. Copy this as it is and paste it over here. That's all. Again, as I said before, I'm not a big fan of creating a PPT. You know where to look at it. So see here, this is what you're going to paste it just above this, just above this. Now let's try to start the server. <coughs> Mm, again, first let's start a zookeeper. Enter, I just entered it. Awesome. Zookeeper has been started. Now with this, we are going to start the Kafka server. CMD. And where can I find the Kafka server? Go to this Windows directory, Control C, CD navigate. Here you have, see? Kafka server, now get this guy over here. So Kafka server start dot bat. Okay. Kafka server dot bat. And obviously for this also you need to supply the configuration files. And for the configuration files, this time you're getting this guy over here. Last time we got this zookeeper, but this time we are sending the server properties slash server properties. That's it. That's how you start the Kafka server in Windows machine for the Confluent community. Now you might ask, what about for the local, uh, what about for the local community or the Apache source? It's the same thing. So if I go to local, again in the bin, Windows, can you see this? You have the same uh, zookeeper. You have the same 
Kafka servers start and stop and in the similar way uh, only the path is different um, the configuration path in the local it is in etc Kafka and the zookeeper can you see this here you have under etc etc Kafka here you see you have etc Kafka okay this is for confluent local and here also you have etc Kafka for community but for for the free version for the apache free version here you have uh, let's see here you have config see here you have under config config here you have server dot properties okay config and obviously the bin remains the same bin windows see bin and windows so you need to <coughs> supply the respective path and make it work again guys you will get the error even for the uh, you'll get the same error the cradle dot jar error whatever we saw even for the uh, local version and even the free version make sure that you add it now let's go to the Linux version of it okay and how do you stop it obviously you can just say control C control C and I'm going to terminate it yes stop it and control C that's it control C yes so that's that's where for the Linux uh, Windows version of it now let's go to the Linux part of it in the Linux um, where are you um, in the WSL okay WSL home home integration anarchy Kafka we are going to work on Confluent okay and uh, let's open the WSL WSL let's navigate to the part cd slash home slash integration anarchy <coughs> kafka <coughs> sorry confluent and bin now if you can see this ls minus lrt i don't need to navigate within windows remember i don't need to navigate within windows because this is a this is a shell script yeah okay and this is a unique script so here i have to deal with only with this guys and uh, this guys okay what we are going to do we are going to say that um, okay so dot slash kafka okay i should i should have been in bin let me check what directory i'm in right now okay bin um kafka okay confluent confluent cd bin come on dot dot slash here you will be in dot slash kafka server dot start okay kafka sir uh, dot slash kafka server dot start and uh, etc kafka and you are going to supply this parameters which is zookeeper okay sorry i forgot it's not kafka server dot start the first time is it zookeeper 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 server dot start and dot 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 slash etc etc zookeeper uh, kafka I'm sorry kafka slash zookeeper dot properties okay so <coughs> um yeah you did not find any error you you got this working fine yeah it has it has picked up as you can see uh, it has picked up now what has happened is that it's simple so here we were in the bin directory in the bin directory we supplied zookeeper server dot stash dot server uh, zookeeper server start dot 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 means go one folder behind go one folder behind so initially we were in here remember this we were in bin we were in bin See here we were in bin and we supplied zookeeper and i want to go one folder back which is nothing but this folder okay this folder and then etc see then etc kafka and hence here etc kafka and that's where you supplied a zookeeper properties yeah zookeeper properties 
and now in the similar way in the other path you have to uh, give the um, once the zookeeper has started you need to start the kafka uh, broker confident bin dot slash kafka dot slash kafka server dot start go back one folder backside in etc um etc kafka slash server dot properties which is right over here yeah and then enter that's how you start the as you can see here starting up starting up complete right this is how you start up <coughs> in windows and linux with that being said what we are going to do in the next step in the next video we are going to look, look a little bit more on the directories and the properties file and then we'll try to convert some message out of it which what we are looking what we are going to look at which is nothing but this and this what does it have and if you have noticed i know i know you would have not no, you would have not noticed it but still there is a logs folder that got created can you see this so a lot of logs are getting created not only here the actual logs are actually getting created somewhere else uh, let me show this um right so this is of no use give me a moment let me navigate to wsl again cd slash tmp okay cd slash tmp can you see this in the temp directory kafka logs zookeeper logs are getting created now where is this configured now i believe even in windows as well when we started windows um let me see if we have anything on the temp directory let me see tmp um let me see tmp tmp logs let me see if you have anything in logs or zookeeper zookeeper no nothing over here uh let me check in yeah so in c drive here in c drive under tmp kafka logs and zookeeper logs are created now where is this getting created where actually is getting created all these things we are going to look at in the next video until then take care and have a great great learning see ya make sure that you stop it uh, the zookeeper and the kafka servers before you close off okay okay guys thank you see you in the next video